Hello dear students, welcome to science practical class. Today we are going to start our first practical that is how to study different parts of a compound microscope. First of all we need to understand why do we need a microscope. We need a microscope because there are certain organisms which are so small or so tiny that they cannot be seen with naked eyes. Without an aid we cannot see them. So we need a special aid or a special tool which helps us to see those organisms. This is a compound microscope which helps us to see so, such kind of tiny particles. It can also help you to see cells and tissues. Now coming to the parts of the microscope. As you can see it is broadly classified into two basic categories mechanical parts and optical parts. So first of all we will try and understand the mechanical parts. Mechanical parts comprise of foot, arm, stage, clips, nose piece, body tube, adjustments, diaphragm and condenser. Coming to the optical parts, optical parts comprises of lenses and mirrors. So mirror, compound microscope has only one mirror, so mirror. Okay, so coming to the parts of the microscope, first of all we will understand the mechanical parts. As you can see this is the foot of the microscope. This is U shaped structure, this is called the foot of the microscope. Then comes the arm, this is the arm which is helping you to easily handle the microscope. Then comes the stage, this black flat surface, this is called the stage of the microscope. Now when we need to see the object on the microscope, we are going to make certain kind of slides. We have temporary slides also and permanent slides also. This which I am showing you is a permanent slide. So we can see the cell or the tissue in a form of on these slides. Now when we keep this slide on the stage there are two clips on this microscope. These two clips actually help to hold the microscope so that it does not um, moves here and there. Okay. Now coming to the next part of this microscope. This is the body of the microscope. This is the cylindrical body of this microscope. Now coming to the adjustments. Now these adjustments help in um, focusing the object. The upper one, this bigger one, this is, see as you turn it, the body can move up or it can move down. Now actually what is help? This is, this is called coarse adjustment knob. This coarse adjustment knob, this one coarse adjustment knob, this helps to move the body of this microscope up and down. The other adjustment, this is called the fine adjustment knob. This fine adjustment knob helps to focus or sharpen the um, magnification of the object. Now coming to diaphragm and condenser. These two knobs you see here, these are diaphragm and condenser. They are just helping to adjust the amount of light entering on the stage so, can, so that we can see the uh, objects clearly. Okay, now coming to this part. This is called the nose, nose piece, the, which is a rotatory 
disc. It can easily rotate. It is having three points where you can put three lenses. So these were all the mechanical parts of the microscope. Now coming to the optical parts of the microscope. See the first part, this is called eyepiece. Why do we see, say it eyepiece? Because, because when you see through this, the eye is directly coming in contact with the first lens. That is why it is called eyepiece. It is also called ocular. You can see something inscripted on this. See, 15x. 15x. It means that it is going to magnify the size of the object 15 times. Now coming, you can also have similar kind of lenses having 10x and 5x means magnification up to 10 times and magnification up to 5 times. We use them according to the requirements. Okay, then coming to the second part, this, this is called objective lens. Why it is called objective lens? Because it is coming in contact with the object which we are going to see on this microscope. Now it is also having certain magnifications on it like it is having 25 or 45 magnifications. So these magnifications also magnify the image and you can easily see the microorganisms or the small cells. The last but not the least is the mirror. If you see carefully, you can see we have a mirror here. The function of this mirror is to focus light on the stage so that we can easily clearly see the object on the stage. This mirror is having two surfaces. One surface is a plane mirror and the other surface is a concave mirror. So we have two types of mirrors on this surface, plane mirror and concave mirror. I hope you have understood different parts of the microscope. Kindly write this experiment in your notebooks. Thank you.